All right, hi. Um, today's reading: fuelless um, engines. Fuelless engines. Um, all right, free energy is now now in your hands. If you just have to build this motor engine, build within your only keep it in the family, friends, with the news media. With the, um, um, build it in your own use and keep it from the keep it from your family, friends, and news media. The fuelless and this spins on the Eddie Gray motor as well with the combination on one own designs as well with the new man design. The motor is likely no other electrical motor in the world. You can run the motor on three hundred or on, on three hundred or one thousand watts DC using special call. Coil design as well as the design included with these plans. Please call the information to yourself for the free energy electrical motors allowed to be manufactured there in the U.S. We'll uh, show you how to give it the more free with the energy for the, your motor free and um, than ever than possible. The security patent, the reason for the um, cannot reveal to um, to you all of our secrets, but we can keep you uh, your li you on file and let you know your updates and you can safely safely share. You may make uh, you can make an outer shell case on just about anything you want. Be suggest that um, the steel tubing, aluminum tubing, anything over 100 horsepower, um, anything below that you can use a half inch plywood box, which must um, what must occur with the customers is green quarter inch, one 14 inch diameter PVC sewer pipe. All right, full pole, the four pole design. All magnets for the twelve and six o'clock position for um, fire and s at setup time, pushing apart with a greater force for the rotor um, shell turn. This motor um, begins with the four. Begin, the motor can be re ran in forward or reverse. The first prototype's model can be scaled up and down and desired the horsepower. Likewise, of course, it can be improved with the design T um, number three two six two RC plans. When you simple design um, for those who are not educated in electrical motor building or repair. It is a good idea to use simple skin science favorite DC motor, etc. To be a basic understanding, the DC motor designs a good source of um, your local library. The HV uh, electromagnets are wired with the North Pole to the North Pole. The sign, this can also be wired in a time they're attracted to each other if you wish to make an attraction motor. All right. Um, this shows the 2x6 plywood base quantity, um, two, one front, one for back. Supplier, you see the spark plugs on the side. Um, you have HV magnets, HV magnets, um, electromagnets um, lined at 12 o'clock and the six, 12 o'clock, three o'clock and six, um, 12 and six o'clock positions. Uh, so you have eight, eight helical matter, um, eight, eight, it's, uh, AHV electromagnetics magnet attachments. Um, they are screwed into the PVC, the stator housing, can aluminum PVC pipe or wood. Um, high voltage electrical, um, 31 copper coated wires. Uh, the half inch round shaft, motor shaft, roller bearing. Garage door pulley, um, 316 uh, inch, um, one half inch roller bearing. Well, um, you will be using two to four sparks above the high voltage switch to um, seven of the DC voltage to four coils at a time. That you design. Um, notice these uh, these uh, spark plugs are attached to the uh, electromagnetics. Um, you can design this engine in any any way you want, any shape you want, just as long as you keep the main working principle. The motor can be as deep as you want it designed. If you make the magnets. Of your air core magnets about four to six inches long, it will be easier to turn on slow RPM drill press. I find wrap um I find, find it wrapping coil around the number thirty one wire wire are, are at about one hundred fifty RPMs works at two, best at two hundred fifty RPMs. Less a little force can be done. We strongly suggest the first building of the eight, uh, one HP or less DC fuelless motor first. In the early days of testing, we made a different type of the magnetic holes to run the small test mortar. We left the no stone unturned. We found out real fast which side of the wire amperage hog, which was one done, one proved worthy enough to give the free engine free energy motor. We found that the number three six fine wire um, hair wire was um, best, but hardware work with the number three number thirty copper coated wire will work. For best thirty six better use the thousand um for number three better using thousands of the wines and high voltage and a PVC plastic air core bobbin bobbin type coil and um, shows different pictures your wire and. Uh, 
There's so many things you have to discover. There's so many things that eyes have not, uh, not seen. We have only scratched the surface of electrical energy, free energy techni um, technology. Next thousand years, I believe that will be self-powering free energy world. Many homes will be enjoying the comfort free with energy with the hundreds of free energy inventors paid the price for. The ED Gray engine re revealed. We are now revealing the simple discreet secret of the ED Gray engine, fuel list engine. ED Gray US patent reveals much of much but not um not all. The la they they left out most important parts while the side of the wire within the high voltage electromagnets have and how many turns. I know one customer with the electrical engineer has built the fuelless engine with no problem because he knows he knew what I was um, about to tell him with the common sense to put the engine inside of the old caddy. With what information you will be to build the powerful free energy and electrical motor to run the 20 kilowatt, 120 um, volt AC generator to run your home. This top secret stuff that you just build the thing them yourself and keep it to yourself. By buying these plans, opening the envelope, you agree to keep this information contained with these plans yourself. You agree not to try to manufacture the engine, um, this engine, or show the working model with the new to the news media unless you get some permission from us. Or the engine motor generator is just basic HVDC electrical motor that can be scaled up and down with any power rating of the desired. You must special port on um, part of the Baltimore motor. The engine is free injury. Keep all electrical magnets firing north to north to north. Permanent magnets can also be the rotor um, on the rotor instead of electromagnets, um, which are easier to build and eliminate the need for brushes. And if you're using permanent rotor magnets, you will need to make a motor attract um, the motor attract. All right, part list, um, quantity, one, 1,000 volt DC power supply, 60 hertz, 30 hertz more. You can step up the voltage by using 150 volt AC um, power inverter, 60 hertz modified SIN wave using high one hoy voltage setup transfer with the capacitor diode setup method. See our high voltage double pl dub doubler plans, number 37, 379 for about $10. Add enough capacitors, diodes until the voltage is on 1,000 volt DC. The quantity two, two spark plugs, champion and copper plus, and number 855 GJ 7Y. Quantity two, two 12 volt DC batteries, C page, um, page five, carrier batteries collect, um, um, C page five, car batteries collect free energy back, um, from the EMF and also run at 1,000 volt DC supply. Special HV magnets will be used to will only, um, consume very and little amperage in the middle amps. Batteries will last a very long time without the back of the EMF. All right, quantity six or ten high voltage electromagnets. Quantity to ten is optional. More of the HV um, high voltage magnets, more power. I would suggest starting off with the six magnets, adding later turns of about within twenty-seven copper coated wire turns. Draw a thousand turns, go in each of the turns of the wire as close to the other as you can. If it does not have to be perfect to work on the better, you make the higher efficiency. Each magnet core must be um, correct, properly correct, um, prepared correctly. Make sure that you can spray each inner core, iron core with at least three to four coats of clear. Lacquer, red spray paint, or, or red spray paint, and allow for the dry to spe um, uh, properly. All right, this shows the soft iron core um, before copper wire is applied th um, for the stator ma the stator magnets. All right, um, two two by two by eleven six inches, two by five eight inches, seven eighth of an inch, three eighths of one eighth of an inch. All right, steel wafer. Um, Quantity um, two soft iron ductile bars, industrial tubes on Cincinnati, Ohio, 800 333 uh, 29561. You show the ingot. Um, quantity two 1000 volt DC capacitor, do, do a diode, multiple banks, a high voltage automotive power supply. You can also use the high voltage supply with the Eddie Gray did on the high. His engine, like his optional, more C pages 679. All right, please read. If you do not get the first, um, if you do not get it first, keep studying. They really very uh, keep. If you do not get it first, keep studying it. Really very easy to do. If you're not familiar with any of the subject of these plans, go to the library, Radio Shack, and get the beginner, beginner's book, electronics, electrical, electrical motor magnets. We have so the thousands of the plans. Maybe many of the customers have built engine motor, the engine motor, free energy. Does work to start an automobile engine can be converted into fuelless engine from the free, for free energy, but it should be not. It should not be done. You will have some of the same trouble to, um, ha as a gas engine has some wear and tear on all mechanical movements of the oil ring, gaskets, pinces, etc. Too many in the name. To do, if you need um, to do, you will need to remove the lifters and head assembly, redesign the head. It will make two high voltage magnet magnets per piston attached to the directly positioned V of the metal attached angled extension one magnet position on the top of the one and north and north poles of magnets for aging the trouble. They must hook up the um, capacity. 
capacitator bank with the U of the dissipate, um, distributor taking each of the position ignite with the position each um, the, they must hook up to the capacitor banks using the distributor timing for each of the piston to ignite each of the piston. The magnets replace each of the other, often other take off the place of the explosion when played for the internal combustion engine. Just like in any car engine, you'll eventually need to have to rebuild or repair it. But the fuelless engine motor will never will never die. You do not need a cooling system or oil system. The only parts we will need to replace are the spark plugs, communicators, and decide to use the communicator spark system. Spark plugs and wires, two ball bearings, the shaft, the shaft rides on. We estimate the replacement at a time of every 25 and 30 years. If you build the magnets right, they will never break down. There's no common ordinary electrical motor, electrical engine motor that has nothing else like in the entire world. The out of the, uh, this output free energy was helped to rerun the motor with recharging the batteries. Every eight high voltage electromagnet creates all its own energy after power is taken off of it. Electrical phenomena called the back e backwards M EMF. Um, another type of the energy I cannot tell about is, but if you know you know the energy is now needed, the free energy converted back into the batteries to recharge them. Warning, when working with a high voltage, keep it out of the reef of the children and the adult and when doing that, understand with the high voltage, be careful to allow the wear, wear rubber gloves and then working with a high voltage. High voltage can kill you. Um, practice any of the responsibility any of these plans that you just, um, you build at your own risk. Warning, these plans are very, are for your eyes only. The dimension has been surprised by the very um, powerful people. What? I'm going to nap. Okay, all right. Very powerful people that come with you that I cannot reveal with the invention of the whole the U.S. Patents, um, patents. Um, these plans are protected. Let me put it this way: no free energy device for the first time with the 2003 the manufacturers sold anywhere in the world. Believe it when we hear uh, you have already tried several times. Is it worth not worth it? The backyard researcher that you can be able to discover the machines and build the free energy the device you as you just want, just as long as you keep the top secret. You can build the engine any of the free energy device well self with um, plans of your own base um, personal youth if you would um, very wise safe your own um, wise and safer for your own and your own family to keep the under lock and key the good idea to build your um, secure with a generator room and to keep the under lock and to keep this wealth alarm system you can also never um, show the um, working free energy devices such as um, such as this one to any with the news media I've already tried to that any with the cause many of the heartache of the trouble I could go on, but there is so much of that I could not tell anyone. But my lab, um, my lab, and my home have been broken into many times. My phone work constantly bugged. My threatened, and I have been researching for the energy for the ten years. I now we're going to experience. I am talking about. Uh huh. All right, the fuelless engine plan. With how it works, the fuelless engine puts out with the far more um, than it takes from running. The conservative free energy perpetual motion machine is a high voltage AC, 60 kilohertz, or 3,000 and 1,000 volts of mill amp. The high voltage is converted with a DC current, and the, all the way through the dose of the dials, rated with the, twice the voltage, the input voltage. The high voltage DC is directed with the high voltage capacitor bank, see page one. Without the invention of the capacity of the engine, it would not be possible the high voltage with the mill amp to do anything with the high voltage electrical magnet. Without capacity, the capacitor quickly stores the electrons, so it produces the great output with three amperes. There is something else that we found with a hep that we cannot explain. Something extra is produced with the high voltage that causes the engine to work. Some of the electrical, um, electronic, electrolytic capacitor bank is now fully charged with the spark plug gap. It is set the free with a thousand volts, ignites completely, and circle the magnet with the magnets with facing with another. North pole, north pole, the um, expensive with the alma with the magnetic power that takes place with the magnet, both magnets repel one of each other. You give it the power to do work, the power to generate, to keep the batteries in supply, with the power to enter the entire home. All right, you know, the first time I tried with the skeptical little server, the even the two, two um, I was just two electrical magnets. I made it myself with the blade at the table, and then held it and held the top of the magnet, and just in case it didn't work, I didn't want the magnet to be damaged. So with um, with all that I could, I held the please to press down with the magnet one hand with the correct um, connected and positive wire would lead the 12 volt battery and pow, it ignited, almost broke my arm off, and I still didn't keep the back and uh, uh, broke my arm off. I still couldn't keep the magnet from flying through the air, and this um, that's an experiment I will never get. And Possible as much from um, the low milliamp the sort of thing of the electrical DC storage motor brought bought motor, um, but our, our our motor will do it. Note the more voltage you use the power of the in your um, power your energy engine motor will have the also the RPMs by anything of the 1600 volts have them well insulated. 
where your soft iron cores or electromagnets will be have to be, have to be dipped in paint, allowed to drip um, dry for three days. Often you can um, supply by a uh, ten pound roller of number three thirty three or some double triple coated copper wire. It is also um, buy some of the square type that will get in much more my more power. Be sure to wire wrap the wire as tight as you can, side by side as you, as you close you, as close as you can. All right, warning, high voltage can kill you. Do not attempt to work with a high voltage if you're not trained personnel. Always wear with rubber gloves and shoe with respect to the high voltage. Do not assume that it because of the project it, because it's your project. It's okay. Always discharge all capacitors before working around them on them. Even if the AC metal amps might not kill it, it will once you have, you have entered into the and entered into the capacitor, you are not responsible for anything in these plans or what we do with them. You build the experiment at your own risk. You'll be careful. Um... All right, the fuelless engine plans. Um, with the knowledge that you can build with the fuelless engine from the Ed Grave, the engine with the use of a 1,000 volt DC the 10 by 10 or to 30 amp milliamp, the capacitor use capacitors of the microfarad that can be smaller than you can now use the electrical capacitors rated to the 200 microfarads with the much cheaper with the build and brings down with the cost of the power and buying larger capacitors. Automotive condensers capacitors can also be used with the capacity of the capacitors that are rated 1,000 volts of the or 100. Um, you have some microfarads to sold solder them together in series. Look through the electronic mail order catalogs to find what you need. By using copper coated number wire, wire number twenty seven, the binding with the wire and soft iron core with the motors to value for the micro more voltage and the last amp is very important. By adding low line, longer electromagnets increase for the horsepower of the side that you want. Exceed amples of one hundred and thirty um, one hundred and thirty three hundred one hundred to three hundred fifty horsepower. Now back to the fuel engine example. The, 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 the number twenty-seven the wire. You can think it's smaller, uh, smaller than wire, water, thin or water hose. You might, um, how much water do you think you uh, will pass through it? If you use the large with one quarter inch water hose, more pat water passes through it. If the same thing electrons come with a large gauge for the wire, you must more amperage will use the less voltage you will need. The most more, the, with the way most electrical motors are used that today, these motors are what I like to call amperage hose. They, they waste energy. They they are not designed to use the back, um, back EMF or of each um, coil of wire that is waste. The fuelless energy, fuelless engine number twenty-seven. The wire used less amperage than the high voltage, which maybe you get the high voltage, you get more free energy effects. A simple experiment will help you understand more. You will need to do two, two soft iron cores. Um, the, the first iron core with the number three, 18 copper wire coated wire with the two hundred turns. Second iron core with number twenty-seven copper coated wire with the two thousand turns. No, no. Now you need the one thousand volt DC with the forty-seven microfarad capacitor. With the capacitor bank place the voltmeter with the capacitor. Charge the capacitor with a thousand volts. The negative wire with the capacitor should be connected to the coil first and second and into the iron electro magnets. If you have made, if you have made. Now connect with the plus wire coming with a 1,000 volt cap capacitor. Connect it if uh, if on off and on to electrical magnetic one at a time. As you see, with the first magnet, will take one to two hits before the voltage of the capacitor hits zero. The second magnet, it will take the seven to ten hits before it reaches zero voltage voltage mark. So do you use um, so do you see it yet? The second magnet that using the number 27 of the wire uses the less energy to run that does the first magnet. See the amperage hog. All right. If your budget, if you are on a budget, you can only and you use the old wall transformer cores. Simple, um, simple. You can simply use the squared off and give them the efficiency. You can take, um, cut them in the shape that you they like even a high black um, Decker TX rotary tool. They are small in speed, but they can be adjusted with even a very small drill cut bidding. You can buy them at any with any Kmart hardware store. Um, uh, one sandwich of iron transformer core between all two blocks and one number one inch. Wood and one inch half plot, plot or one inch, one point two inch half plot, um, one point two inch half plywood using a hacksaw to cut them. If you do not use wood or iron laminate, place pieces will come apart. All right, the closer the magnets are, the horsepower you will have. The longer the magnets you, um, and the longer the magnets, your first model can be one half horsepower motor using a small two amp wall transformer. That you can get ten amp large transformer, the old worn microwave ovens. Use a hacksaw off the inside with the water coil. Co remove the if you have the shape of the iron core horizontal with the shape of the glue bottom. With the, you will need to figure out with the radius of the rotor, and so that you make the plywood shape a shape temple. But if you need one with the straight store store stator motor magnets, one of the rotor magnets or templates can of course that shall be the same inside of the transformer. You the before cutting off shape of the transformer, you must um, place a piece of thin um, MDO board and tape the each side of the transformer. When you get into the iron laminates, you will now put them loose. Loose. Shows a soft iron core transformer cut out, cut out, curved shape, and finished. 
Our below is a small example of what I'm trying to tell you, but the idea of um, build the very um, powerful, large flywheel type of engine and use the 30 inch diameter flywheel behind um, 20 inch, 5 inch, 30 inch diameter deep saw with an aluminum rotor drum. Which is um, motor insulation transformer right, well, would ride on it. Each of the roller considered the five transformers agree with the horsepower. Well, I think of the one monster of the motor, unlike any uh, even so far. But the fire sequence would be um, set up almost same as the banner's DC motors communicator would be. The difference is you would be the communicator made it much more like AC motor added, added to collect the back EMF, which would have the numerous output with the free energy. And simple to do the design. I know the electrical energies already know what to do. Electrical engineers already know uh, what to do. Of course, you may stick with the building of the number 362 builds um, first by cutting of the transformers and laminates. Laminates, the, um, you're cutting down the performance because of the shutting or shorting out with the sum of the engine will go still go pretty free energy that you've the cut out with the transformer cars. You want to customize your own iron core laminates and having them die cut with a special shape and size, spraying them with lacquer, gluing them together. If you have money, you can call, um, to call, can all, can call up the sub, a supply company that carries a special soft iron sheet that have them local, locally and metal die company is so you can use um call a transformer manufacturer customize the core and look up them on the web that set up the charge will be light and high much but on the once they have died you can also have the cut as many as you want no now or later down the road are your high voltage electromagnets using number 27 copper wire with the wire 1000 of the turns um ron bolt told the magnetic stator see they have the cutout of the uh Iron cores, you notice they have the curve and the straight cores over the here. And they have your um, north and north um, fitting concerts. Round bolts with a hold magnet stator housing. All right, number 32, wire, um, wire literally hard with the work of the little hard as the side of the metal for the um, brakes really, um, really easy. So extreme care should be taken when winding the coals are not to be breaking um, break the wire. The breaks doesn't, the, does happen. You must clean the coating off of the wire with a small flame first for the lighter, then you put the fire fine tape pan paper to clean it off of them. You must also load watt soldering iron to keep it attached with the whole set and piece of the back together. Once this is done, you must paint the connection with the enamel lacquer painting, even the brush or such. I believe it's very possible that in such high amp AC DC electrical motor convert with the L into an over unity free engine motor. I have not done this, I studied but that for many hours that there's no reason why you cannot do it. You simply take apart with the motor and take um close um close up photos how the winding connects with the communication. If you um, wipe the, then you unwind the amperage hog wires once you, the entire wiring is gone with the spray of the soft iron state over the inside of the lacquer paint two to three coats. We must be prepared with the surface of the high voltage. It will spark burn, burn out with the shortage of the two hundred twenty of the coated wire. Let it dry one to two days before beginning with the wire um, winding iron core state over the number eleven wire. Maybe a good idea to make the connection where the old wire began with the top and over the coil looks. If the um, it, like one big connected coil is not uh, each coil overlaps because they are not connected, developing the motor side. This should be about four to eight separate coils that must be replaced. The number twenty-seven wire. Put it back in place. And you must wind it very slowly by hand. It will be very it will be very boring. By thinking about the end result, and once all of the winding is done, you must um, put it back and put it back together. Try it and collect it back. EMF then should go with the Unity CR plans number 411, 411, 11, um for 4.1995 plus shipping. And results of the 12 volt DC um, motor, the owner, the other ran at the 12 volt DC 5 amps ran hot with no more than 1,000 volt DC 10 30 milliamps is cold. If the back EMF collected proper result of the over unity free engine electrical motor power, replace all your motors in your house. Watch your electrical bill go down again. Your motor will never get hot and overheat, but the back EMF free energy with the collapsing magnetic field generated with the coil with the copper coated wire around soft iron core pulsated by the DCI voltage. All right, show the second battery, um, the second uh, relay with the first bat voltage battery going to a 1,000 volt AC inverter DC um, going through positive and negative from the um, um, inverter um, um, to uh, do the spark plug on the fields and the feed switch optional electromagnetic inverser um back to the 1000 volt capacitor 100 um, 900 ul's uh milliamps and the the back emf back to the cap of the name and then to the electromagnetic dials to the second battery this is the ED gray electrical layout. Every four high voltage magnets have the 1,000 volt DC capacitor. If you look, um, if you try to look and cut down on the cost, you get the same inverter. Always have a high five high voltage 
Magnus, actually, I'm counting the Stater Magnus as one of the, uh, as one, even uh, though there are two because they both fire at the same time, 1,000 volts, a volt AC inverter is rated at 20 to 30 milliampers. The fuel less engine is 1,000 volt DC rated with milliamps. Basically, the large DC motor generator works so that the 100 volt DC repulsive explosion takes place at a position of 12 and 3 and 3 and 3 and then 6 and 9 at the rotor rates of the position. It, um, like creating a lightning bolt by using very little amperage value for the method of the very strong magnets for like the high voltage electromagnets. It also happens to split second. Normally, it would take a very um, large amount of the amperage to high voltage input for the be kind of the explosive power. Or the... Uh, the outer casing of the stator housing can be aluminum pipe, aluminum salvage, or of the industrial junkyards in an area. Side of the horsepower can be up to, the side of the horsepower can be up to you. Their large um, laser cutting companies will cut with the metal aluminum any side of the shape that you will want. The, and it's not expensive, but the rotor plates must be cut in laser or piece together in hand cut balance on a machine shop. Lay at the machine. Using illustrations should be below the given the laser cutting company. Um, part one, maybe um, one quarter inch be, um, metal aluminum disc can be attached with the stator housing edge with the drilling attached. Tapping out with the holes at the edge of the one, number one part, number one laser, with the cut out the metal donut to fit inside the front of the stator housing um, pole that in play. For the, if you do not know which um, much about motors, the a, part of the AC or DC motor, simply copy the brush contact setup. All right, so as a side view, high voltage. Notice that it's just a rail pump with a donut shape would be the lid and a rotor bar. Part number two, aluminum stator. You have a front plate, um, part number one shaft, the brush contactors, copper and plastic. Um, notice that the uh, the rotor plates, um, part two aluminum uh, stator plates. Notice the uh, um, on the outside. Finding a laser cutting company is cheap. Is if that is cheap? Some come, some companies are very high. Some of the very cost wise. In part number three, rotor shop, um, shaft, steel one inch diameter, turn ground and polish, front view, one quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, today, side view, the, the machine shut cut, um, shop cut, one quarter inch square, um, square groove, then you do the one inch diameter, make sure of the shaft in, before you laser cut your rotor points. The front view of the rotor pay, um, notice the, notice the dowel lock and um, the joint, side view. Number 38, wire wrapped around the both sides. Um, all right, part number four, part four, rotor rotor plates. You show how the rotor plates should be look at the license. It's a little expensive the belt, um, belt, but well worth it. You cut them out with aluminum sheet, cheaper than they have these on these laser cut, even the one quarter inch steel having the even the two point four inch steel plate. We can reduce the heavy weights cutting with the ten steel plates using a half inch plywood space for the brush contacts purchased in the high hardware store Grain, Granger Supply. You can have them laser cut. Quantity twenty four five diameter. Um, one quarter inch steel um, center hole with about one inch of the motor shaft going through any of the turning around and polishing shaft making about one three and thirty two the inch light machine shop decide that about the side of the one inch in your diameter flange beginning would be machinist this is a special electrical motor with the, the BC codes and do not add, BC and BNC codes do not have the critical customer can special cut magnet iron core to fit your cut all right, um, back out of this one drop. Uh, notice that the take one quarter inch top of the disc, one inch, um, one and a, one and a half inch B and C slot, one and a quarter inch, three inch for the deep, one inch, one inch center hole big enough for a one inch shaft to go through. Drill hole six and thirty two inch top of the U for the six and thirty two machine screws, and you have your steel aluminum magnet holding plates where you will need to get a quantity of two of them. No, the number one center hole of the drawing is not standard. Do not photocopy copy to get over the, um, some of these drawings are not actual proportion. All right, part number one, the front and back plates. There are front and back plates with the quantity, will need the quantity for the two. You will need to have the laser cut. You will also need the quantity of the two one-inch pillow bearings for the center shaft of the right on the store. And the stator housing can be made with a quarter-inch aluminum steel PVC sewer pipe or wood aluminum best electro. Aluminum is best or second um, prototype. You have the one and quarter-inch plexi housing electro aluminum block bracing brace with the tank for the front and black plates. Well, there will be four inches, then took the pressure off the plexi from keeping them um, from breaking. Aluminum, one quarter inch, one quarter inch hole with the um, um, pillow bearings, one and quarter inch, uh, one and one sixteenth of an inch diameter center hole. One quarter inch hole is in front play of the stator housing, one quarter, fourteen and a half inch out of diameter stator housing, allow a pillow block aluminum steel. One quarter inch, uh, quarter inch holes ta taped. 
Shader housing about 14 and a half inch diameter. Um, one and a half inch thick pillow blocks, quantity eight. Our right, part four, the high voltage electromagnet. The iron cord magnets can be special with the cut out, cut out by one um, you or a machine shop. The first must be the special with the soft iron industrial tube steel with the Cincinnati 108 9561 With the material you may want to buy with a call, the ductile number 654512 comes in square bars about eight feet long, so long. If, if you remember the cell with the 4x4, four 4-inch four, um, four by 4-inch steel bars that have the cut in with the steel, have the treatment made, um, maybe they offer the steel other than be likewise to even the shelf the way it works. It works great. You'll need to have a build about six, uh, six high voltage electromagnets at both about four inches deep. So you will need to buy a bar about 24 to 30 inches in length. Once you get a soft seal bar, you will need to cut it into four and a half inch square wafer. The seal bar that you brought in the four by inch by four inch. These steel wa wa wafers should be four inch by four and a half, four inch by four inch by a half inch. You will need the miter saw with the table saw with the seal cutting disc. Maybe the best li um, little machine shop cut it up once. You also get a little, um, get all the wafers cut up and just sand down one inside of each of them. Using a semi smooth, then paint one side of each of the wafer with a flat white, white spray paint because the, this will end. An example, the soft iron core will need shape and as is. You may need um, get a rotor plate. Make sure it um, will be snug fit. Now, now make a sealed water wood plate with a template which it should fit with a rotor plate with a 1 16th of an inch plate. You will need to cut a cut and cut an iron core template for the rotor and the rotor stator upper lower the um upper and lower. Now use these samples with a pencil trace out of the design on each of the seal wafer for the white paint is out of the will now we will, you will now need to use to cut each wafer for the seal cutting plate with the such with the jigsaw the type of the jigsaw once you're done. Sand each paint and each wafer with the lacquer base spray. Try the hardware store with the clear better work than I, I, I leave I live Leave nothing unpainted. The coat will be fine with the lead bar with the one half inch of the sprays to each for the one on each side of the clear um, lacquer. Fifteen minutes then with the paint with a seal tacky paste one and a half inch wafer together, just like a loft bread to make one core, four inch dry, um, deep soft iron core. Let the two hours let it dry for two or three hours and then spray the entire assembly of the wafers with lacquer spray on about three to four coats. Let the three to four days before turning and starting with the number thirty two, number thirty eight copper coated wire around. You can purchase the wire online, or you must have the wire company if your area sells coated wire. Um, these company um, companies sell wa 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 motors, manufacture transformer generator manufacturers that will still sell and go in the wire. Um, search for the AOL.com. Contact EIS Local Louisville, Kentucky 502-636-0384. This will sell the wire. Small pools. You can also each wind each magnet and band. By hand or fix up the motor winder of your own. You must very, wind very slowly. We will break the wire and it's hard to slow its solder back again. All right, this shows your soft iron ductile um, bar 6542. Um, one and a half inch soft iron ductile 6542 wafer. All right, one and a half inch um, thick each steel wafer. Electromagnetic soft iron core. Best view of the ductile. Um, the show to the rotor, the front view, and the stator. The um, round bolt holds going into the hole of the magnet into place, holding the bolt in the stator housing. All right, how does it work? Ignition, staging, and timing. 12 o'clock position, 9 o'clock position, 3 o'clock position, 6 o'clock position. All right, the fuelless engine with was about three. Um, let me read the just check to see if there's an, all right. Um, the fuelless engine is used with about 3,000 to 1,000 volt DC rated with a milliamp. You could lose 115 volt AC with a 500 watt inverter with compat negative 12 volt DC battery within step of the voltage 300 V volt DC up to the 1,000 volt DC using a high voltage transformer. The voltage multiplier plans which capacitors diode set up with the main coming as the AC current. The high voltage electromagnetic EV thing number 27 with the copper coated. Wire, you may also have the supplier for the area of the wire, then use the special cell and spools. Check out the yellow page of the phone with the electrical motor repair shop. They may sell you some of that you can tell where where you where to buy an area. If you can still find it, you can buy it in the internet buy it on the internet. There are tons of wire companies on the net. Turn your number twenty seven wire around with the air carbon core bob and soft iron core. The more aren't more turns better if you do not know how to build these high voltage electromagnets. Um we do sell the plans and you could try to the local library. 
basically the large DC motor that puts out the um, free energy from the coil cap that works for the um, stove that at 1,000 volt repels with the explosion takes place at 12 o'clock and 600 p um, p and 12 o'clock and 6 position the rotor arm is then fourth and nine and nine and three in position and the 1,000 volts is switch on and on and off the control by the easier and we'll build up the homemade um, copper hyper communicator when timing is adjusted, the rider and the inner rotor mimes will after show will spin very fast. There's much more than just an electrical motor. The motor outputs free energy as well as the solar cells can do. Horsepower motors determine the capacity uh, and the capacitation capacitors you mark. Um, the horsepower of the motor is determined by the capacitation of the capacitors. Your spark plug cap, how many electromagnetic capacitors bank you use in the side of the magnets. All right, the electro electrical system, second volt and second volt battery, first volt battery, 12 volt volt battery. Um, the positive is in red, the negative is in black. It goes to a 115 volt DCA in, in, inverter voltage multiplier, 2000 volt diode bank, bank um, from the positive line to a choke primary transform, and then the positive goes into the uh, 2000 volt capacitor bank. And, um, but it first of the positive volt. Um, Goes to the spark plug communicator back to the electro, um, electromagnetic rectifier to the second battery. And the positive the second battery goes to the diodes, electromagnetic high voltage back to the EMF, back to the um, cap of the bank, and the 2000 volt cap capacitator um, on the negative winding from the electrical magnet. All right, how it works. The fuelless engine put, um, puts out far, um, far more than it runs on. They consider the free energy perpetual motion um, machine. Uh, you have the high voltage AC, 60 kilohertz for the 3,000, 1,000 volt milliamp. The high voltage is converted with the DC current and correct current with the use of the diode, with which are rated with the twice the voltage input voltage. The high voltage DC is directed with the high voltage capacitor. Bang, see the page one. Without the invention of the capacitor, the engine would not be powered with the high voltage, but the milliamp that does not, there's nothing high voltage electromagnet without a capacitor. The capacitor quickly stores the electrons so to produce the greater output of the free energy than something else. We found happens. We cannot explain something extra that produces the high voltage that even the engine to work. Since the electrical capacitor bank is only fully charged with the spark plug gap, it is set forth at the 1000 volt. It's the complete circuit of the main with the magnet facing one another. North pole, the north pole explosive amount. Amount of the magnetic power that takes place for the volt magnets from from peel and one of them you must move the um use the power to do work the power generator to keep the batteries and supply the power to the entire home. You now have the first um, time. If you try with a skeptical, I started just with um, two electrical manuals that I made. You play with it on the table. I held down the top of the magnet just in case. I didn't want to make the, um, want to make the ma magnet get damaged. So with all, so with all I could, I held, pressed down the magnet one hand and connected the, the power positive wire below the twelve volt battery and then power ignited. It almost broke off my arm. I still could not keep the magnet flying out through the air. The experiment I would never forget. Um, impossible to get such much power with a little O amp mill source of the use of the electrical DC source mo brought. brought bought motor but our motor will do it all right no the more voltage the, uh, you use the power your engine you will have as well the rpms um but anything over the 1600 volts will have the well um, it will have to be well insulated your soft iron cores electrical magnets have been dipped in against the paint a lot of drips for drive for three days once you can some, simply buy a 10 pound roller of number 30 or some double triple coated co coated wire you can also buy a square type um uh, by the square type you can get the more power and be sure to wrap wire as tight as you can side by side as close as you can Wearing the high voltage can kill you. Do not attempt to work with a high voltage as you are in train with the person on the way. Wear the rubber gloves and shoes. Um, respect high voltage does not assume that, uh, that you just because it is protecting your project. It's okay. I always just charge the all compressor before working around them on them. If the AC milliamp the mill not come, m might not kill it once you have the energy within to the capacitor, you're not responsible for anything of these plans or what you do with them. You build an experiment at your own mill, so be, so be careful. All right, how it works continues. Center rotor rotate for the stator housing so that after you turn it on, the, each of the capacitor bank power to the fire spark, spark potion, potential that you need to start with the spinning of the shaft. The hand stator, stator, starter rotor lets you say that the motor, they will start at 12 o'clock position, ignited them pushing with a 9 position brush time in contact. And that's four magnets again with the pushing and 6 o'clock position so on. Of course, it will happen so fast that so much power that you can see it. Give you an idea of the happening, the flip of the bicycle with the back of the spinning with the tie with this. You can repeatedly much much of the power. You can see you can see a little um, happens inside of the engine with about 1,000 times more power made with the repetition propulsion magnets. The weight of the magnets rotor in the air with the nail of the rotors made of the Justin one magnet counterblade and say it will work just fine. It's less than the horsepower of the best motor with the 
build up one horsepower type, which evidence that induced these plans. The more horsepower is simply scale it up. If the air core electrical managed as far as best way of the fan wire on the unit that's more turns, the more free energy the output that you might have the motor power input of the voltage goes to the other using up you for the flying wire with the cover of the motor running very low to the amperage of the free energy back emf can be you for the replanted 12 volt batteries very with the finer of a wire the harder it is to throw in a higher wire wire breaks very easily all right your part list thumb um, quantity three 3500 to 5000 volt dc to ac inverter 30 coil hose 60 kilohertz you can buy your own or sell it um, or we'll sell them on page four of this catalog pack four quantity Spark plugs with the champion copper plus the 8855D7Y or anything close, anything, anything close. Two quantity 12 volt, 12 volt car batteries or four quantity of six volt batteries. Quantity 5,000 volt DC electromagnetic ma magnets. Um, show the uh, thinner look, um, thinner lacquer coated coal, coal wire, more windings for the better. Outside insulation, one and a half inch by three and three eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch on core. Electromagnet can be um, shaped like this. You will uh, get more power and magnets can place together, close together. You can have the MDO board, some of the other thin wood, but the coal bombing one over the horsepower more than one and a half eighth of an inch pop PVC pipe making made a square top and shoot the guy, um, glue at the top of the bottom with the PVC pipe glue. Anything with a motor can be built with a plastic PVC air core magnets and soft iron core magnets. You can also soft iron core input for the air can burn out the coil. All right, eight quantity, two, uh, eight quantity of eight 2,000 volt diode, diode bank checking internet electronic supply. Then you can make them yourself. So please send to the 95 for plans number 47089. One quantity, quantity transformer used primarily or choke. Used primarily or, uh, or choke. All right, 400 volts, 470 um, micro um, UUF so electrical capacitor. You can make with each of the caps we received with the soldering with the iron that you can supply with a 2,000 volt cap. Capacitors shown with the electrical type of the capacitors will vary to large quickly, but that will not store such much and store such store so much amperage with the fine wire with the U for the most terms that we use. Less amperage will you for the run of the motor, but the other options are high you for the little capacitor motor. Um, Amps will um, store within take with no learn and start up with the charge with the fully charged with the cap of the discharge very slowly because of the motor design and very low with the mill amps power. All right, example, the 4,000 volt cap flash, um, flash caps are connected in a series, 4,000 volt um, series um, from positive to negative, um, five 4,000 volts equal to 2,000 volt DC output. Supplier, all electrical corporations, 1 800 826 4324. Inflammation, 1 800 224 1705. Capacity or specialist, 1 800 346 4652. And radio check, they will give you the quantity of the prices. Second quantity, ball bearings, the center shaft of the right end. You will need 316 of the inch bore side of the each of the diameter choo choo for the wheel. You're using 316 of the 5 eighth of an inch, easier to work since the standard pulley size. And prototype, you leave the garage door pulley that will brought and bought at the hardware store. Take one and one half inch um, stationary shaft brace with this, um, the current cover the 316 of the inch hole of the shaft, and then put it into the garage door rail or bearing. Make your holes where you need to be the bolt, the shaft, the brace, lead, the drill, the holes. Make sure this uh, shul, shul, sure that the um, a little bit um, bigger hole with the first center hole with the made with the sh shaft that when the dra drag. Always the, um, this must dra done after apply with the bra brace and drum. Make sure the um, measure the right, find your center of the bolt the bra braces. If you once um, through the three inch sixteen inch diameter um, bore diameter and three sixteen three inch diameter. Over the, if you decide to build one horsepower high power higher motor on front cover, then you'll need a half inch shaft and one and a half inch roller bearings. Uh, one quantity, one, number one, one quantity of a round rod metal shaft, three sixteenth of an inch head treated with a white would be nice. And Neville, um, all right, all right, and four quantity large PC board with a thin rosin, a rosin core soldered, one roll, one hundred watt soldered iron. Uh, soldering iron quantity one for solid sol, 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 soldering capacitors and diode banks. All right, part list continued. One quantity of 15 inch diameter, 12 inch deep, no less than one eighth inch thick or wood drum. They sh um, the one used for the prototype of the wood drum from um, from a lot wig. Ludwig drum set. The prototype is designed to scale up and down. 14 nuts and bolts to hold magnets. One onto the drum about a quarter inch and two inches 
Lighting 2 inch 12 volt DC 60 to 100 amp generator, keeping with the inverted battery system off the units with 10,000 watts of 120 volt AC generator. Um, 8 inch 5 8 of an inch aluminum pulley gran gran grangers will have them on our hardware store. If you put the 5 inch of an inch pulley, you put the 316 of an inch shelf, need the bronzing bushing of the seal on the sleeve to fill the gap. Or use 5 of that point eight inch um, shaft for large horsepower engines, you use larger diameter. All right, steel angle, um, steel angle, one and a half inch, three sixteenth of an inch length. This is for your middle center rotor brace. That for the shaft of the rotor magnets, you need to cut them into two pieces. Um, whatever the center stator of the diameter is, bend and then um, them to look like this. This shows the side view, the steel iron angle, single steel anchor iron, um, front view. Attach the stator drum front with the back center with as well as you can to the measure of the cross section of the general of the center mark with the brace of the must be a crack with a possible very small drill bit that both start with the won't lose the center mark. 12 volt on and off the switch for the off of the key switch. The spark plug is wired to attach the spark plug with the passenger bank. You can use the type of the lawnmower, you use it in solid hardware stores, then they would work better. One 5,000-1,000 watt inverter converted the DC battery to AC 115 volt and 600 hertz to dial can multiply with a turn changing 6,000 volt, 6, volt capacitor cap bank. One 10 foot um, small strand wire insulated with a 10 feet wide, wire, red wire, 10 feet black wire. Alright, this show the book base. Let me see if I can scan a little bit this. All right, this shows the base, the ball bearings, the shaft rider stopper, okay, um, the ball bearings gar gar garage door pulley, your um, a space, the uh, shaft collar, um, your electromagnetics, one and a half inch by 432 inch so for the rotor housing bent and square as shown, um, welded. Brush contacts, place and spacer, brush and two magnets. Um, the show the positive contact call the brush not shown in firing position um, one and three not shown you can see. Plastic spacer, wooden plastic and brush mount, um, brush mount, center rotating shaft, three sixteenth of an inch, five eighth of an inch brush communicator classic to connect with the shaft with adjustable timing adjustment. All right, positive close-up of the brush assembly. Negative will be the same as um, as this. Uh, show the go-to wire to the positive plugs, one and three, um, and go to the positive two and four. Plastic wood screw bolts, nuts and metal, the side thick view shaft, and adjustment screw brushes. Plastic washer, plastic bolts, plastic washers. The GTO wire hook magnets to the brush with any other connection when the high voltage passed through. All right, your timing, timing of the fuelless engine. To get the out of the DC motor um, works, but take the, uh, any, um, apart any side of the DC motor, check it out and check it out. Stay, 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 um, study it carefully, timing the fuelless engine, 1,000 volt DC amplified brush assembly, the brush assembly has accent on and off. Switch engine set, set of magnets, the brush assembly can be made with the main way, the time pacing, and then the two plates for the spark plugs. Communicated with brush collar assembly, you will need only 1,000 volt DC charge on firing system with weighted 1, 3 amps. More amps are better with the more danger with the more um, during assembly. The experiment with low mil amp cap is bank of the power supply, 10 mil amp. Um, milliamp um, safety. You need you need two spark plugs set up with the capacitor bank. The capacitor is two diode banks. One diode bank is for the positive side of the optional, and second for the negative side of the rotor and magnets. Five and six are the twelve o'clock position should be made in the fire position one, five, six, and three with the magnets all at the same time. When the wire, when that what wire these magnets over the north pole and the north um, north pole, the north and south, which will cover the motor to then be a traction motor. Many of the traction motors are better, but if you be the repelling motor with the time firing, when the arm five is just about one sixteenth of an inch past the concern of the number one stator magnet, this will ensure the rotor arm will be pushed in the rotator left of the rotor column clockwise. If the timing the traction motor, we will want one number five to fire about three to four inches before starting the, to get the number one magnet. The motor can be times the run and the clockwise as well. Um, connect all the back EMF um, per coil of the diode capacitor pack per negative on the negative side output. I strongly recommend you build your OR one horsepower motor to get the understanding of how to build, build, build this motor. 
If you use shoes to use a spark plug, you can use a gap spark plug to fire a little area with a cup with the power to the tube list over the less without short, short torque now the words you will have the more RPMs with the more system. Some of the horsepower will not even the real bad but the cover depending on the kind of the generator you're working on generator going to use. Please know that the engine must be timed to just arrive with the rotor uh, magnets. Do not repulse each other. The two assume that the repulsion must take place at the center one sixteen, but then it's left to the right. The prototype of the one fifteen volt AC. Please know the engine does not rotate and to the left of the counterclockwise. You can re design it to rotate both ways. Note the A, B, and magnets connect the same in the positive and negative brush rotor assembly. See the new and it's an easy way to make the homemade communicator, which will, uh, should it be included with these plans. All right, show the um, bolt and brush assembly side view. Um, see pages, uh, page assembly, spring contacts, spring brush contacts, pot, negative and positive plastic spacer washer, um, negative wire rotating magnets, um, wire contact through the hook of both of the contacts together to see the page and shaft hole through the goal, um, go to go through the um, bolts to attach the adjustment to the collar, your cap one bank um, and your cap two bank. And um, all right, this is your one horsepower motor. Um, show the part C rotary shaft power. Some um, ceramic magnets. Um, quantity two silicone JB weld glue with the two magnets to the shaft. Communicator off switch off and on in the switch. Um, the um, so, the photo needs to be updated with the wrong communicator you're using. Plan brush assembly part F. Sorry, the photo needs to be updated. Brush is the wrong side. See this plan. Part D and E um, support arms rotor shaft. The uh, um, part. Um, M, part M brush assembly holding bar and part A motor base, part O control box, part R transformer electromagnetics. Um, you will need to take apart the transformer and build it yourself or and build it yourself. Um, 16 inch gauge, 18 inch cut coated wire. You for the research collecting electrical electromagnetic magnet itself. All right, building the communicator, um, DC motor generator, building the communicator. Um, option one, the homemade communicator, the DC human, um, communicator is turned off the DC voltage. It is used to turn off the incoming, the DC voltage, high voltage, and low voltage magnet coil. When you hit the grave with the junction bars, rotate the rotates will slide, slide on two carbon DC motors to cause the brushes to cover the complete connection with the DC motor to flow with the electrical magnet coil. You are given two options, including in making the DC communicate motor communicator pick one of the easiest ways. Step one. Cut a piece of three quarter inch um, by diameter one thirty eighth of an inch length of the copper wire, and you can buy it at any hardware store. You have the pipe of con cutter to connect the piece of one thirty eighth of an inch long. Next step two. Next, you have the rough sanding paper to sand the side of the copper pipe with really good, and then clean the lacquer thinner and surface with more than free of the dirt. Step three: You can um, Q-tip Q-tip grief the piece with the cardboard with the little magnet with the copper pipe with the diameter with the epoxy still not stick with the cardboard. Trip with the can be the right move and drive them. You will need to fill the copper pipe um, with the epoxy so that it slowly squeeze with enough of the JB um, JB epoxy. Fill the inside with the copper pipe fully. Follow all the way to all the direction of the JB instruction. Make the two parts very well. Start placing the epoxy inside of the copper pipe. Let it dry for 24 hours. I prefer to wait 40 hours, but the instructions do not tell you that. We use the JB epoxy because it is best on the market. It can stand up to 600 degrees. All right, step four. Now you must find the exact center of the pipe to score with a short, a sharp punch. You um, you will be scoring a punch with a small hole at the top of the epoxy. Now that you're going to make the need to drill past, you will need a copper pipe to use your feet in figure three. Make sure the bottom of the strip is very flat and note that the hole will be crooked and the communicator will ride on the shaft crooked and cover the balance of the high speed. Start off with a small straw bit. Drill boat you have them working way up until you have the whole same size of the shaft on the, out of the diameter. Figure four shows... One eighth of an inch, three quarter of an inch, um, as junction bar separates the brushes for the contacting each other, or the cut out of the way around the pipe. A very fine hacksaw blade with a cut on um, the space for the spacers epoxy and sand and smooth. Fill the cuts with the epoxy, we'll let it dry for the 24 hours, sand until it's smooth, and eight, five, six, and the steel shaft, placing them back in the epoxy hole. Now play with these five, six, and the shaft collar. 
under the steel rod and epoxy to the end of the next communicator, remove the plastic first. And step five, not, not you know, using the fine point marker and making the cut marks outside of the copper popper pipe plate piece. As shown in figure number five, the fine five, the tooth hacks all is cut the cut, cut longer center cut all the way around the copper pipe, leaving three quarters of an inch space. Um, cut all the spaces, um, cut all the way through the copper just enough to harden epoxy up to the hardened epoxy. Do not keep it. Deep, uh, do not too deep into the epoxy fill. All right, part after the brush holder. Um, two five one two one and five sixteen inches, one and a half inch by one and a half inch, one sixteen inch square steel. This is part five inch, one and a half inch by one and a half inch, one and five one, one and five sixteen inch steel. Part five, um, one and two um, shows one and two on the the connect the um, brushes power positive and negative copper holder. Copper holding plate, one five sixteen inch quarter inch motor brush, part five, JB weld PC and seven epoxy copper holding plate, um, plastic separator, part five with PC epoxy or JB weld one quarter inch deep, part G show the two inch one and quarter inch part of the grease but, um, brush, place inside the square steel part, part five, let's see, sit for the drive for uh, twenty four hours, then remove the brush and clean it off. As an alternative to using the brushes, you could play for the heated copper and treated copper with a, some spring, and then to play for the copper in part M, bend the copper under the wire uh, upward. Our part M brush assembly holding um, bar: the eight and a half by three and quarter inch one sixteenth the eighth the one eighth inch steel bar. The eighth the brush assembly: three inch bend, three inch bend, and we're doing a half inch, and then it shows the slot and the two plastic screws with the nuts J um, with bolts. Um, do you adjust, do the, do the attach the brush assembly holding bar? You need parquet roller bearing in the side diameter five sixteen of an inch. You can buy these grain jerk bearings or from a skate shop. Um, Communicator use a copper pipe, then place the brage, place brush in position, disregard brush set up with the color set up. You need a quantity of the two, the fit, um, first, the, the part inch shaft collars, uh, five sixteen inch D diameter by one drill size, five sixteen of an inch. You'll need two going on the shaft collars to hold the inner shaft in place along one eighth of an inch bottom plate for the part D with the two second shaft color epoxy glue and one end of the first finished communicator. All right, three quarter inch um, from the ends of the um, five eighth of an inch width um, by twelve of an inch of the inch um, diameter drill hole seven sixteenth of the inch um, three and a half inch off the um, off the center of them on the outside three quarter inch um, and spots um, aluminum eighth of an inch drill check hardware set still um, some ply earth lumber earth drill these holes drill holes seven sixteenth of a four seven sixty fourth of an inch you'll need a quantity of a tool you'll need to tap out each for the hole with the thread and use the six by three NC to that plug. A five sixteenth of an inch steel rod, one seven eighth of an inch. You'll need short pieces, two magnets for to be used for the spacers, one shaft molding, and the ma making of the communicator. Part D and E rotor support arms. The one and a half inch aluminum arm, uh, aluminum bar. Check with the machine shop steel supplier with yellow page steel saw so that you are to drill two holes in each of the arm five sixteenth inch drill bill as the install the bearing parts assembly. D remove the roller bearing and a bigger drill and with eleven thirty two cent drill bill on part E to drill the only halfway through the five sixteenth inch rotor can turn it on. All right, shows part D and E. The rotor support arms two and a half inch inch by one and a half inch. Um, show that the drill holds it. On part E, four and a half, four and a quarter, and three and a half, sixteenth of an inch from and they're centered. And uh, the part D has a uh, three and eleven sixteenth um, diameter um, carrier center, two and a half inches. Want to read this? All right, the roller bearing assembly for the large steel washer assembled after you put the rotor shaft with the arms together. Once your shaft is running in the part D hole, you can play for the roller bearing onto it. Grief the other part of the bearing and then re drill the two or three holes. Large steel washer, pl pl place the large um, washer uh, over the top of the roller bearing, center of the marking holes for you for the 7 16 and then drill the tape the hole for the 9 6 NC tab that attached the washer to part D, the 6 32. The 632s of the one and one half inch bolt with a mix of the JB Weld PC7 and epoxy fill the inside of the neat washer around the roller bearing. Make sure the bearing is greased so well that you can move it later with the drill and large hole. The reason you need to drill a large hole is later so the rotor shaft can turn more easily. Let epoxy dry for 24 hours. Remove the steel washer roller bearing plate. And then remove the roller bearing. Remove your roller bearing. Drill a bigger hole part D. Then place your bearing back in the molded bear, roller bearing assembly.
All right, a DC motor generator. Um, this reserves capacitor diode rating depends on the voltage input the versus the size of the coil wire you've the windings. If you've if you the coil winding several thousand times, number thirty eight or thirty six copper coated wire when you've the needs you've the voltage of the one thousand thirty five hundred volt DC, the back EMF will be greater than number thirty eight eight number thirty eight wire higher thin with the hard wind the best use of the PVC core type magnet. For show sure, example of the 23500 volt in the air cores of the 1600 volt iron cores. This shows the relay, the field iron cores, and the rectifier and the um, capacitator. Use 36 and 32 co um, copper coated wire much easier with several coil of the old transformer iron cores. You need the little, little coating. There will be the greater experience when you build the larger coil. Make one one eighth of an inch, number 18 of the coated wire should come uh, comb out with about 90 to 100 tons. You know that the free energy collected by the coil communicators run hot, hot, less energy, less energy lost. Number eight wire will take the voltage of the um, to, number 18 um, wire will take the voltage 12 and 20 volt or DC. Number 38 volt wire um, voltage of 2,3500 volt DC will run very coolly, very, very little amperage when you your DC water um, power, pump power supply, even the 12 volt DC is smaller, 100 volt, um, 100 watt DC AC inverter. All right, page 23 shows um, your iron core, your brushes on the bar, this is your communicator on the brush of the um, uh, high voltage winding, the drill press. The um and the, this and that. All right, DC motor generator part P copper um coated wire magnet wire. You need three different rolls of the wire: number sixteen, number eighteen inch, and number twenty six close to, or close to thirty six and thirty eight is hair thin wire. You need the copper coated wire um wrap around the soft iron cores. You will need to build four, four different iron magnetic cores with a different side of the wire. Start with the research purpose. The teacher show that the soon the different effects output of the motor generator will make the use of the making more turn with the wire, less turn with the wire side of the making the magnets interchangeable. We'll collect them backward. EMF the use of the vortex the effect of the show of the kind of students how to get the free energy of the, uh, out of these motors all right this show the reversing polarities um reversing polarities of the poles um use 16 of the gauge 18 of the gauge coated wire to make the spiral demonstrate for the amperage hog motor place the simple spiral around the motor shaft the run and test noted that it happens to make a special coil Two pieces of flat pexy glass or MDO board uh, drill the center hole with about both the which of the two pieces together, leaving the metal and cardboard spacer between the two boards. The space washer must be in the same thickness as the wire, but not, no play for the bolt with the center hole to attach and not, not drill the small hole. No, um, next to the center hole so it can return the first part of the wire through the tape down and begin with the turning wire. Reversing polarity reverse the pressure um, produces a strong magnetic force even the metal soft iron core. Part Q ceramic magnets. These for the motor you will need at least two powerful ceramic magnets. You can buy these from the radio shack or the search of the internet for the magnetic powers. You can increase the horsepower, but you can add more magnets to your shaft. On the magnets you can add you can get if on this and then you can get a two pair. Make sure they um, redesign the magnetic um Make sure you redesign the magnetic coil structure to be longer. You can use, um, you also design a large horsepower radio shack magnets buying cell hex um, shaped metal rods or, um, and gluing 24 magnets to it. And this will ensure the magnet, magnet magnets will last a very long time. It shows the magnets in a hexagonal um, shaped metal. For some, for more advanced aluminum and steel hex bar, have the machine shop at the end of the fitting end for the epoxy. Each of the magnet hex bar example, the three eighteen and three eighths inch long one hex, um, one inch hex flats will make the very powerful free energy motor. All right, that's your uh, that's an iron core electrohydrodynamic magnet. These are like wrapping it yourself. All right, letter was sent in, sent in by a customer. After studying the file of the fuelless injury, I downloaded over the internet a copy of the U.S. patent number 3890518. For the first time, these devices stay that appear to work. Conservation of energy, electromagnetic coupling to the energy while collecting the electron motor force, delaying the magnetic field that after the physical work with me accomplished. On page 8, you will follow um, what the state of the appreciate with the new idea and finding something easier to understand the engine work for the concept of the and seeing the mind with the file. File arranged in the light of the media, either layman understanding. It is known as the description and the illustration of the EDs grade patent, something that wasn't apparent at first. Number 32 in the figure one, there was a second complete charging system that leaves the need to believe that the power might flow through the system like this. Um, 
Figure um, sub figure ten battery one sixteen twenty charging system twenty one and twenty one a batteries um, diodes bottom sin wave twenty one a twenty three choke coil um, twenty six capacitor bank twenty eight induction magnets and electrical magnifiers bat to um to battery two battery two to charging system two twenty two and twenty two a diodes top sin wave um twenty two a um, 24 check oil coil of the two number two 25 capacitor banks 27 inductor magnets EMF battery to one. The E's um, V grades um, diagram shown with the figure sin, um, sin wave and split difference of the sub figures for 19A, 21A, 22. The met, um, this might be what well considered splitting in the split, splitting in the, the positive. He even the diodes number to 21 and 22. The rectified of the positive with the two opposite undirectional sin waves. I right, show that the um, the red um, positive of the charging circuit one positive charging circuit two. Um, notice they show the um, the um, the charging circuit and positive negative, and then it goes negative um, negative positive, but like plus equals this. In opinion, the negative way of the current for the transform and hardness of the flux inductors of the twin number 23 and 24 induction magnets that can be influenced in the way of the flux uh, reacts naturally re 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 natural reality splitting of the positive the existing of the currents into the flux scene with the efficiency are achieved. <coughs> Your simplified model model is sound theory of the bra, but the illustration did not give any reference to delay with the coils. Inductors of the charging system to do an important role to play with the system. I understand with the, where the current is increased with the inductor, the inductor generates a counter EMF which opposes the current build up. The current decreases the indicator set up with the counter EMF drive to keep the key current going in the same way they accomplish for the magnetic field expand with the contracting core of the inductor. Concept tends the power to turn uh, to be in the out phase, the EE -E gray state of the phase. The pattern, which is believed to produce the static floating flux field, the word static means a preference of a paved way. Power flows in molecular or level a delay coil. The induction also seems to be applied um, to, as the flux magnetic field or a phase variation of how it interacts with the inductor stator into the magnet powers. Current being out of the phase um, seems to be in a high EDV grade, being able to receive much energy. This also helps to illustrate that something extra has been produced with the high voltage that can be really can be really explained. All right, and this is the patent for it. Um, you have the pulse ca capacitor, pulse capacitor discharge electrical engine inventor Edwin V. Gray, um, filed November twenty second, nineteen seventy three, and. Um, The patent number for that is the three 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 million eight hundred ninety five forty eight. Um, they're um, disclosed in the electrical machine with the engine with the rotor ca cage with the having the array with electrical magnets, rotable the array of electrical magnets, flux electrical magnets, ju juxta juxta posed against movable ones with the coils. Electrical magnets are connected with the discharge path. The capacitor is charged with the relative with the high voltage discharge through the electrical magnet coil. When selected rotator and rotor or stator moments are alignment, when fixing alignment of the movement, the electrical magnets are just above the discharge or curve that across the spark. Get, um, gaps disconnecting alignment that would respect the um, desired ex extra junction position with the selected movable stationary electromagnetics. The capacitor discharge occurs with the simultaneously with the just just to, just, just to pose stationary movable electromagnetics, but see that um, so that the respective cords electromagnetic repulsion polarity resu resulting in force motion of the movement of electromagnetic elements away from the juxta proposed stationary electromagnetic illusion elements just show they're achieving the motion of the engine with the discharge of a curve success successfully. Um, Across the selected one of the gaps maintain the continuous rotation capacitors or recharge be between successful alignment positions and a particular rotor and stator and stator alignments electromagnetism of the engine. Right, this is 200 horsepower, show the battery 12 volt um, pot in the ground into the number five, number five, and then 12 volt. Um, these are running in parallel. The ignition switch, the pulsator, the transformer, the converter, the magnetic. Um, harnesses, floating um, switch, flux field, field um, capac capacitor banks, and then the rotor stator um, safety discharge back to the batteries, and then from the capacitor to the storage magnet control spark plugs, um, rotor magnet control spark gaps, and rotor magnets and stator magnets grounded. This shows a picture of their um, their uh, rotor shaft. Um, This shows the picture of the other uh, another diagram. Um, 
With magnetic volume created with the drum, um, literally takes place over the off the end of the bearings, allow for the rotative flow of the drum within the drum. The motor created with the power surge, the one behind the other in microseconds, allows them to direct, direct with the magnetic flux field. With the magnetic flux with a coolant source that does not need the cooling system, the EMA noise, noise emissions were far less than all other power surge. With the gray claim that there would no, no would be no increase in noise in engine age. In fact, the electrical motor noise is almost in 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 person in per- 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 when possible properly suppressed. All right. The only extra magnetic effect for the another system um, could not operate with the same battery system, magnetic field, air, or orientation, thirty-six degrees um, in all directions. Perpetual motion, according to the EV, EV Gray, the, some of the experts believe EMA perpetual motion engine. This machinery will produce a continuous movement without any outside energy force. If there is force invalid, the very concept of perpetual motion is all, violates all known laws of thermodynamics. Gray himself refutes the, um, this belief the EMA motor definitely is not perpetual motion, although the scientific world understanding theories of the physics able to comprehend how the motor works. This only is a handful of such um, persons. In your preliminary t- um, test data, and uh, show the uh, EMA motor block diagram, we'll start with the 24 volt supply to the high voltage Generate circuit then the control unit. The controller unit splits um, to a reservation recycle unit electrode and pulsator back to the line which goes through the 24 volt series on that parallel circuit with the control also unit also goes to the motor rotor stator with back to the alternator on that parallel circuit. And from the controller and recenter regeneration and re- recycling unit to the motor um, motor rotor stators go to a mechanical conversion and power driving shaft transmission, etc or into an air pump okay and that completes the the fuelless engine or otherwise in the patent it's called the in the patent it was called the patent is called the it's called the Pulse Capacitator Discharge Electrical Engine. Isn't that like uh, Back to the Future?